Um, that gets us into another conversation because you obviously, for him to play that on regret, you had to lend him the guitar. And there's a whole um, narrative thread running through the book about lending other guitar players your guitars, right? Yeah. Um, that just some yeah. some perhaps more well advised as lendees, shall we say, than others, right? So that some I think we've got a, a here we are. This is so this is um, perhaps one of superficially anyway the less uh, well advised lendees because you lent this to Noel Gallagher in 1994 when they were when Oasis were just breaking and they were still playing what we know as toilet venues really with quite rowdy audiences sometimes. Yeah, and. Um, Perhaps the fact that you were taking a certain risk lending Noel this guitar came true very quickly. Yeah, I mean... Um, Not his fault, incidentally. No, again, that's, that's a, another well-told story, but um, I, because it's kind of amazing and because, you know, there's so much interest in Noel, you know, he's... he's um, well, I won't go into the whole story, but the... Um, I was able to do it. I really liked him. No one had any idea that, you know he was going to become like such a, you know, well, maybe actually probably he had the idea that like he was going to, um, but no, he, I just, I dug him. I thought he was a great guy. He was a young, young kid. Um, I was able to, to do what I'm, the short version is that it, I went to a show and it's one of those things where literally there was maybe 14 people, maybe, maybe fewer at this show. He played at Oasis played at seven o'clock third on the bill to Molly Harfed. Which, uh, Molly Harfed, there's a name third, to conjure with. Third on the bill. It was still light outside. It was seven o'clock. And I watched him anyway when he called me a couple of days later. We'd met a, a week or so before because he was a mate of my brother's. My brother told me that um, I really should meet this guy because he's pretty cool. And my brother's a man of very few words and he's also got very, he's a very discerning fella. So that means a lot coming from my brother. So I met with Nolan. We just hit it off. And anyway, so I went to the show. There's like 14 people there. And... Um, they did their thing, I'm the walrus, and did rock and roll star and all of that. And he asked me what, he asked me what I thought, you know, and I just said, great, great, great. But in the conversation, I said, well, you know, you do take a long time tuning up your guitar, your one guitar th throughout the set. You interminable minutes go by while you're tuning up. You, you, need, a, you need another a backup guitar. And he said, well, that's quite rightly. He said, well, that's okay for you to say, you know. And um, I'm on the dole, you know? I'm living in an India house. So I was like, good point. Um, so he was going in the studio sometime very soon after that to do their first single. And I just sent down a, a bunch of guitars and I knew that he'd really love that guitar. Could you just pause there when you say, clearly you didn't go to the post office and say parcel force or whatever. No, How do you send the guitars to people? Uh, my roadie became his roadie. Right. And so I they said, were sort of driven down. And yeah, they were driven to Wales, and um, and uh, you know I thought it'd buzz him up, and, and they needed it. You know, I thought, well, I'm not going to give him something crappy. So on the cover of what is their first single? Is it Shaker Maker? Supersonic, no, Supersonic. is it? Yeah. Supersonic. You see the Black Rickenbackers on on the floor, I think, or he's around on the photograph. And anyway, so Noel started playing that guitar, and he started writing on it. And um, next thing I saw a photograph of him using it. And the truth of it is, I never thought, oh, I've loaned you that guitar, when are you going to give it back? I just was like, it's his. You know I mean, he, he, you could just, you see it in, what, what's the video? Well, I guess, is it for Supersonic or Live Forever or something where they're the digging? Is, uh, that's Live Forever, yeah. It looks like Noel's guitar, you know. So I did, you know, I knew he'd get a buzz from it because I did Panic on it and a bunch of Smith stuff, London, and a load, a load of stuff, 85, and I toured with it and all of that, 85, 86. Um, and it just seemed he needed it more than me. I had a load of him, you know. Yeah. But then someone in the audience in Newcastle jumped up on the stage and hit him, and the guitar suddenly had another use. Oh, yeah. And then, visage. yeah. So then Oasis got into a fight on stage uh, because the, the, my management then became Oasis's management. <laughs> Mm. I got a phone call a few months later one morning and Kat from the office, <laughs> she said to me, uh, oh, hey, Johnny, hi. Uh, did you hear about what happened last night in Newcastle? I was like, no. And she said, uh, oh, bit of a problem. The guitar got broken. The Les Paul, Nels Les Paul got broken. There was, the, the band had a fight with the audience. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, and? And um, she said, 
Do you think you could loan us another guitar, please? 